This is Ben from KelownaNow.com. This morning, Statistics Canada released a report ranking Kelowna with the highest crime rate in the country and third highest in the Crime Severity Index. Incoming officer in charge Nick Romanchuk and City Manager Ron Mitusi held a press conference today to address these concerns. So good morning. My name is Nick Romanchuk, as uh, Chris has already told you, I'm sure. I'm the uh, incoming officer in charge of Kelowna Detachment. I haven't arrived uh, in Kelowna just yet, haven't started my new job. My day job is still the officer in charge of Kootenay Boundary Regional Detachment based in Nelson and uh, that's where I uh, hang my hat most days. As you're likely aware, earlier today Stats Canada released a, a report on crime statistics for 2012 which identified the Kelowna Census Metropolitan Area as having the highest crime rate in Canada. Additionally, the Crime Severity Index for the Kelowna Metropolitan Area increased by approximately 6% in 2012. I felt that it was important for me as the incoming officer in charge to address this issue at the earliest opportunity. However, it's not my intention to discuss what has happened in the past, but to talk about my vision for the future of policing and community safety in the greater Kelowna area. I am quite confident in our ability to address community safety issues. I am very impressed with the extremely capable police officers and support staff within Kelowna Regional Detachment and I know they are dedicated to improving the safety of the greater Kelowna communities. The enforcement which has occurred in 2012 and so far this year is the primary reason why the numbers have decreased for 2013. It's my goal that Greater Kelowna is never again mentioned in a Stats Canada report on crime unless Kelowna is being recognized for significant improvements that have been made. I believe that there are a number of principles for us that are mandatory if we are to be successful. I believe in very aggressive, targeted enforcement directed towards a small number of prolific offenders who are responsible for the vast majority of crime within any community. I've seen the results and they can be dramatic. I believe that we need to build upon the regionalized policing services within the Greater Kelowna area to give us the best chance of targeting the threats to the safety of our communities through the timely sharing of intelligence and the deployment of resources. I believe that we must leverage our resources by forming partnerships within the law enforcement community as well as with other agencies and groups who can assist us in improving the safety of our communities. Very few, if any, crime problems are able to be resolved through police action only. Crime and societal issues go hand in hand and everyone who plays a part in dealing with those issues in one form or another must be involved. It's my job to get all of those groups to the table. Finally. I believe that we have to take a very critical look at what we are currently doing. We have to consider whether the work that we're doing now is adding value to making our community safer. And if it's not, we have to decide whether we need to continue doing it. If we don't continue to do it, we have to consider how to realign those resources to be more effective in the future. Yeah, one of the, the points, probably the ones that are important to me, is that they are two years old and we've made a considerable investment in policing. In the last year, uh, we've added another 12 officers, uh, 12 new members, and by 2015, we'll have added 22. And I think some of this is the result of, of those increases. I think that we are serious about uh, uh, crime, and we've made a serious investment uh, in it. And I think that those will start showing up, uh, not two years ago, but they'll start showing up in the years to come. So uh, the other part I think is that Clone is a unique community, uh, a city of 120,000 people whose population gets about 1.5 million visitors for two months in the middle of the summer. Certainly it has an impact on the way we, we allocate police resources. It's not easy to juggle them, uh, but we have a huge influx of people at one point in time. So that does make us somewhat of a unique community. So I think that uh, you know the real message for us is that, uh, yeah, we, we saw those numbers, we saw what was happening, and we've invested in policing, and we're serious about it, and we'll continue to do that. Did the situation here play a factor in your decision to accept the post here in Kelowna? No, I don't think so. It was, uh, it was an opportunity that uh, presented itself. I applied just like uh, every other inspector or qualified superintendent across the country was able to apply, and I was fortunate enough to be shortlisted, and uh, ultimately I got the job. Great place to be, great place to bring my family to, um, I'm looking forward to it.